Errol Weber. Patriots, how you doing? I said Patriots, how you doing? Thank you. We have a lot of military members around here that I can point out right here. Thank you so much for your work that you've done. Thank you, Greg Ratz, for the work that you do and all of those who have fought in the past and right now fighting to preserve our rights to be free right here in America. Thank you so much for all of your work and your dedication. Can we get a shout out for all of our members of military? Kind of the reason I wore this tribute outfit. Folks, my name is Earl Weber. I'm the very proud Republican for Congress in California's 37th Congressional District. For those who don't know where that district is, it's right up in LA, right next to Maxine's district, right next to Ted Lou's district, right next to Adam Schiff's district. I'm running against communist Karen Bass. Now, we heard from Amy Van West the terribleness that happens with communism. And in Jamaica, where I grew up, we saw socialism in the late 60s into the 70s. And I'm glad we snapped out of it. We across the world, we all come here to America to experience freedom. And we should not take this freedom for granted. We need to make sure that every day we are fighting to uphold our constitution and not allow the left to go trampling on our constitutionally protected rights. Our right and freedom to free speech is important. Free press is important. Being able to go to church freely and not have churches shut down, that is something we need to continue to protect. Additionally, we need to make sure that we are pushing to, uh, to preserve our Second Amendment right because that is how we push back against a tyrannical government. That is how we push back against leftist nonsense coming out of California. How many people are ready for Thanksgiving? How many people are ready for Christmas? And how many people are not going to listen to Gavin Newsom's story? That's what I thought. So folks, <laughs> I think we're all on the same page here. We have to protect our rights, and we have to make sure that these Democrats do not hold on to the House, do not ever get anywhere near the Senate, and will never, ever, at any point in our lifetime, ever again be president. We need all Republicans as president for the rest of our lives. Because you see the damage that Democrats are capable of, and will continue to do if we give them an inch. They will take a mile. So it is, it is incumbent upon all of us to work with our candidates, get out the vote, and I want to share a little detail because some people are like, ooh, Trump is going to win a landslide. Some people, they're still biting their nails. Some people, they don't know what's going to happen. But you have to remember, 15 states signed legislation that said that they will hand over their electoral college votes to the winner of the national popular vote. So even if you live in a bright blue district, it is still important for you to go throughout your neighborhood and get every single God-fearing Christian, every single Republican, every single Trump supporter to get off their butts and get out to vote and get somebody else to get off their butts and get out to vote because we need every single vote. And if and when President Trump gets the national popular vote, California is going to have to begrudgingly hand over its 55 electoral college votes to President Donald J. Trump. So it's important for us all to get out and support our president. It's all incumbent to us to get out and rally and get out and march, but also get out and help our candidates get people out to vote. You can learn more about me and my policies on Weber2020.com. You can donate at Weber2020.com. You can find out about my next two campaign rallies at Weber2020.com. I look forward to your support. Thank you all so much. And let us win in November. On November 3rd, it's going to be big. When it comes to measure age and promises for children, $1.2 billion wasted on $692,000 per year homeless structures for a tech block, 42 meetings in one building, but we have 60,000, 60,000 people. How do you fix it? First, you start with conservatism. And what does that conservatism look like? This is what it looks like. Let's lower taxes and reduce regulations to keep businesses in California. Let's make sure that we're educating our youngest kids to have jobs on their own. Let's make sure that we are Let's make sure that we are not overburdening our system with extra people yeah. who want to How do we do that when our Let's make oh, sure that we are prioritizing American citizens for all the already yeah. scarce affordable the housing. Target, the target. Let's make sure that we are affording people to choose. Start with voting Republican. That's what you do. Okay, what are the Republicans going to do? 
Okay, Republicans are going to lower taxes. Republicans are going to lower taxes. No one's if you're raising your voice like that. you got to talk civilly because then people shut down. All right. Oh, no. So, Fuck this political shit, man. Just live your life, bro. All right. Okay. So, gays for Trump. Who's that? Gays for Trump. How are you going to do that? How are you going to do that? How are you going to do that? either. Okay. So, you're on Instagram okay. live with two viewers. Like, what do you have to do with your Instagram account? You have two viewers. How are you going to do that? You have to do that. 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 You have if you love being free, then you love Trump. <laughs> there we go. You, you know what? You know Thank what? I, this country Thank is about you. freedom, freedom of choice, guys, freedom of speech. Hunter Biden emails Google it. But you know what? You guys know what's great about this country is that we can stand out here and we can have a conversation without any violence. Imagine and get, all and the get along that you with can't each other. Have a conversation like this. Exactly. Think about yeah. that. They've lost so, their minds. So, so, here we go. I mean, it's overwhelming. We need Trump in office. Trump. Trump. It's going to happen. So, it's going to happen. Biden and Kamala Olive are out, and Trump is in, baby. And we need to get rid of this guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Gavin Newsom, the rapist of West Hollywood. First off, I was raped by a West Hollywood member, not raped. Like, oh, I don't want to talk about it, but it happened. Answer, right? I can imagine who it is. Yeah. <laughs> See, they're, they're trying to make you feel like no. you're the... We're not trying to make you feel not trying I'm not to make trying to make you feel. You don't care about how he feels. You don't change the narrative and, like, you're fucking Lord and Savior. Yeah, here's the thing. It's not about Trump. It's about making things right. Are you trying to make things right? right yes, yes. Are. Right now? Are are you are. Are you making things right now? Trump is in president. I think things are terrible. Biden right has now. been in it's office for 47 years and destroyed the black community. Party. But you're saying that things are bad right now? What is your problem? We are going to vote Biden in, and then they we'll ruined end up our lives. They ruined our lives. Well, Wait, hold on. Maybe they're going to vote for Trump. That's what we do. That's what we do. And you're running, multiple times. You're running from Congress, and we're holding you accountable. Because that's what we're doing. Wait, hold on. So why do you have to elect somebody into office to hold him accountable? You can take them to jail right now. Especially since he sold America out of China multiple times. Absolutely. He just said he wanted to stand up. So are you going to... It's a going to take your rights away. So hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So hold on. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. We have a recorded track record of Biden spending 47 years destroying the black community with mass incarceration, with segregation in the 70s. And then in the 2000s, Kamala Harris locking people up for extended sentences and keeping them beyond their jail sentence to fund the, 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 the prison complex here in California. And then these two, the biggest jailers in America, are the front of the ticket of the Democrat Party. And after 47 years of black people being crushed under Democrat Democrat policies, especially in this district, you're gonna go and vote for it again? Do you do you love that stuff? Do you want more of it? Because that's what you're gonna get. Not because I'm conjecting anything. Because Joe Biden has said out of his face, he will continue to oppress our community. So, okay. you want, you want my question for you? My, my question for you. My question for you. Because you love throwing Joe Biden back to the people and things that Joe Biden yeah. said. How do you stand behind the multi, like the multiple, the multitude of fucked up things that Donald Trump has said about just about everybody in this country? How do you stand behind that? Consistent? For example, be like, for, for example, for example, you want me to give you an example? So, my parents are Nigerian. He said Nigerian is Nigeria is a shithole country. He said Mexico is a shithole country. He said the worst, the worst of the worst, the worst. Don't, hey, don't talk about, don't talk about my heritage, please. I've not been disrespectful to you, and I would appreciate if you think that's a crude way of saying it. it. So once again, just don't disrespect me, please. Thank you. So, 
kids getting married. As I'm so saying, man, like, born, help, like me help me understand. Help me understand. Well, I'll speak for Mexico. Okay, Mexico's so got a fucking disaster over there, and they're a mess. But my, are, my question for you, though, is, my question for you is, there are so many, there are more immigrants that come here that are the best and the brightest. Yes! And you, but your president I'm is saying the opposite. As well. so, and that's why I really don't understand. I don't understand why, how you can do that. You know why? I don't understand. I'd love, I'd love to hear why. The Democrats don't care. They just want their vote. Because they know they're going to get their vote. Why? You can't have more power. power. You just said I can't speak for you, so you can't speak for me. Come on. You literally just said I can't speak for you. So, so why are you trying to speak for me? Are you trying to put words in my mouth? Are you trying to invalidate my existence? Okay, so me speaking for myself is I defined for myself the American dream. I went, I came to America wanting to be a commercial airline pilot. I ended up getting into the documentary film world. Made two dozen documentaries about all kinds of social issues. From healthcare and education to uh, human rights and police community relations. Did all this stuff. And then after all of these film screenings, after all of these learnings, after all of these town halls and conferences, I'm like, how can we turn this into policy? Okay. How can we take all of the Usually when you preface something with not to be racist, something racist. Well, you're not yes, racist. I mean, you're not all of that. Like, so, so I'm just saying. So, you know, I'm talking about racism. I'm saying that systematic racism doesn't They deserve more money.